Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, most are here now. Mm. Let's start the lesson now. Where did I stop? What did I ask you to do for homework? Do you remember? Um, yes, like we have to do the presentation about our favorite sports and uh, also, yeah, what book? What book? What book homework? Yes. Okay, I'll start with favorite sport. <clears throat> As I don't want to give time to prepare for a long time, I let you prepare it at home. I hope most students have prepared for it. Jelena, would you like to start? Did you prepare for it? Oh yeah, actually I did. Okay. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna start. Yes. For me, it was almost like winter didn't count. Summer is what matter. My whole life is measured in summer. Like I don't really begin living until June, until I'm at the beach. Imagine the world where the boundaries between us and ocean blew up, where the rush short waters became your playground and where the waves hold the promise of both exhilaration and serenity. The ocean gave us a ways to feed its fight, basically surfing, which is adventurous and what doing. Surfing is a surface water sport in which an individual, a surfer, uses a barge to ride on the forward section or face of a moving wave of water, which usually carry the surfer toward the shore. Adventurous surfing technology took place rapidly over the 20th century and remained popular throughout the 21st century with technological improvement. In the early 20th century, land had wood boat that weighed up to 175 LBS were the standard. Surfing, also being said as riding the waves, can give you the feelings of being in heaven, heaven like just like when you taste the best flavor in the new item at McDonald's. Surfers have incredible bond with the oceans. They wait patiently watching the waves rise and fall. When the perfect waves came along, they jumped onto their boats and became one of the ocean's energy. It's like dancing with the ocean, catching each other's every mood and responding with excitement. Surfers and oceans are just like a perfect partner in amazing dance. For me, walking along the shore, catching the sunset, feeling the breezy wind that's carried the sense of the ocean, keeping keep in touch with the heavenly hibiscus and living like Moana, the Disney princess, is the wildest dream I have ever met. Why, say, why some say they want to catch the sun rise in Rome and its sunset in Bagan, I am prioritized giving myself freedom and a chance to solve. I still remember the first time when the waves pressed me and took me away while surfing. I couldn't forget the, that moment I was in the in the waves and the ocean showed me what the beauty is and the connection between it and me. The very first thing I remember about the ocean is that moment and every time I hear the waves sounds or just waves, I'm back in that moment and feeling that excitement again, even though I have experienced it countless times before. So only that moment is enough to make enough to take me back to the beach. So to recap, surfing is more than just riding waves, it's the dance between humans and ocean, which is right. You became part of something bigger and your movement began a conversation with the waves. So due to those perfection, how can you receive their core of surfing? So it's time to grab that surfboard, dive in, ride the waves, and let the let the sand kiss your skin. Yeah. Finish this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I really I really have the student who whose favorite spot is surfing you are the mm, i think you are the first one maybe uh even though i love surfing i've never been to the beach honestly it's yeah. just imaginary oh yeah it seems like you you have ever been to the beach yeah yeah ASMR. but i have seen the movie that is like concerned with the surfing so that's why mm. Yeah, surfing is in exciting, but it is quite risky, risk-taking sport. 
Okay. Nice talk. Uh, teacher? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. I forgot to do that. You can prepare it now while waiting for the others. I gave okay, you some hmm. I uh for the sake of time, I could not ask each and every, but <clears throat> I will ask most. Prepare now. Sweet one. So you don't, are you ready? So me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Hello, can you hear me? No. Yes. yes. There are many different kinds of sports in the world. Among them, my favorite one is swimming. However, I don't normally swim as I have to attend classes all days, all days and night. Therefore, I can only swim when I go on a trip with my family. As I don't swim, I don't swim very often. I, I really do this hobby. Uh, for swimming, I think. For swimming, I've never gone to the swimming club or something like that. Uh, something like that. So I only need a swimsuit. Uh, I think swimming is a good habit because it can. Uh, because it can make me feel then healthy and also I feel relaxed and comfortable when I am swimming. Uh, furthermore, I can feel the happiness. Uh, which is different from. Different from any other feelings that I have when I see. Yeah, it's quite short. <clears throat> Actually, your choice is okay. Swimming. There are many things to say. When sunny swimming. Okay. You have tried your best. Touch using, how about touch using? Yes. <clears throat> I like playing many sports, but in it, uh, badminton is my favorite sport, which is kind of the recast sport. Uh, I have liked playing badminton since I was a girl. Uh, I played every weekend with my friends or my mom. To play badminton, uh, the players we need a net uh, as a stickler guard uh, cock and then uh, at least two records. Playing badminton is an excellent exercise for the body. It is stretch uh, muscles and then um, motor coordination, increase possibilities and then improve the balance. It is also can grow our body's work. So this became my favorite sports. Uh, this gives the fun and healthy life. This is the mm. Okay about playing badminton. It is a common uh, favorite sport. Okay, you have <clears throat> described the points that I have. You have tried to cover the points that I have mentioned. Um, yeah, but it's still short. Okay. Anyway, the sentences, most of the sentences are grammatically correct, but still simple. So, <clears throat> uh, Okay, so uh, I will go. So, mountaineering, as known as mountain climbing, is an activity or sporty act that takes place in outdoors. Uh, mountaineering contains many other sports like skiing, climbing, and snowboarding according to the weather and mountains that take place in. Mountaineering has no complex rule or regulations in general according to the researchers. The mountaineering help people to get motivated and competitive because the pushes of encouragement to reach the top. That also advantage the friendship of players and uh, kindness between each other. And mountaineering has a lot of uh, advantages in health, uh, such as uh, improving the breathing of the people and heart. Uh, sorry, Jay, I only wrote that. Hmm? You yes. have stopped. 
it 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 is not worth a bit. Uh yes, uh, I wrote. Uh, I only wrote uh for like some points. I couldn't really write a lot. So actually, the thing is, <clears throat> your choice. Your choice is not very easy, but if you could, if you have experience and you, you have ideas, it will be a good talk. But as you don't know about mountain mountaineering, uh, you could not present a lot. So next time, please choose the one that you are familiar with. So that you could say a lot. Either either I'll tell my uh. My favorite sport is basketball. I've been playing it for two years. I got into it because my friends were playing it. I didn't want to feel left out, so I tried to score. The goal is to score points by shooting the ball into the opponent's hoop while defending your own. Uh, I play basketball regularly at least uh, two times a week, either in organized leagues or playing with friends. Uh, to play, you need a basketball, a hoop, a basketball court and some friends. Uh, playing basketball has uh, numerous benefits, including increased endurance, improved condition, and decreased uh, stress levels. Uh, in my opinion, playing basketball uh, can be really fun, especially with friends, and uh, the benefits will help you a lot uh, in the long run. Mm. Okay, interesting. Yeah, you have covered the points that I have mentioned, and it's well organized. Uh, Sinan, you. I am a big fan of cycling. Riding a bike is so much fun. I enjoy the feeling of the wind as I paddle. And it's like an adventure exploring a different places. It is a great way to clear my mind and forget about stress. What's cool is that cycling can be easy or hard. Depending on where I go, I can ride around my area or take on tougher paths in nature. It's even better where when I go cycling with my friends. We can have a blessed riding together. Cycling isn't just enjoyable, it's good for my health too. It makes my muscles stronger and helps keep my health in good shape. Whenever I hop on my bike, I can just focus on the ride and forget about everything else. It is a simple pleasure that makes me feel happy. So whether I'm taking a Leisurely ride or racing around with my friends, cycling is a sport for me. It is uncomplicated, thrilling, and puts a smile on my face. Okay. Although it is not very long, the content is interesting. Okay, you have tried your best. Kevin, would you like to try, Kevin? Oh, uh, teacher, can you wait a bit, please? <laughs> wait, I could not wait. That's one we like to try. Hi, yes, um, my favorite sport. I really enjoy playing badminton, and it's my favorite sport because 
Uh, it is fun and help me stay active. And I have been playing about five years at school and I try to play at least twice a week. Um, but I can play some week. Uh, to play by me that we need a racket and a shuttle course and we can play it indoor or out outdoor. But indoor is for that one it is windy outside. And play by me then helps many me feel like improving my coordination and helping me stay in shape. Uh, I also like that I can play it with my brother or friend, but mostly I play with my brother. And I am enjoying it by one. I am playing by me. That's all. Mm. It is interesting, <clears throat> although it is short. Yeah, you, you have the same spot as Tashwizi, but different version. It's fine, no problem. Sweet. Amelia, would you like to try? Amelia, about your favorite spot. Amelia, are you with me? Yes, see. I would like to listen. Come on, come on, quickly. Did you prepare for your presentation? Hmm? Come on, Kevin. Are you ready? Ah uh, yes. Mm, see. Uh, I haven't done sports in I was in maybe just four or five different ones, but there's a one sport I really love, and that is, uh, cycling. During the pandemic, I learned to ride a bike since my school was closed. Uh, before the revolution, I used to ride my bike in the evening, but now my parents didn't. Don't allow me to ride outside, and uh, my bike doesn't fit with me. Uh, riding bike requires some equipment like helmet and knee pad, and it's great exercise and help me feel free and happy. Uh, cycling promotes fitness, health, mental well-being, and uh, why also reducing pollution and sporting, uh, sporting eco-friendly transportations. Mm, okay. Although it is spontaneous, although your talk is spontaneous, it is a nice talk. Interesting. <clears throat> okay. Uh, teacher. Good. Uh, teacher, yes. can I say? Who's that? Uh, Amelia, teacher. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. You can. Quickly, before I continue the lesson. Uh... My favorite sport is swimming. I love swimming because I love water shoe. Uh, when I go to the swimming pool, a swimming pool, I took a long time to swim, uh, to two to three hours. Uh, swimming doesn't uh, conclude any equipment or any, um, how should I say this? Um, any helmets or any any other unnecessary things. You only need to learn how to swing. Swimming can be helpful, uh, be, can be helpful in dangers or when you are lost in a jungle or in any dangerous situations. Swimming can save a lot of people. Uh, if you learn swimming, that I think that's a good thing. It's also good for your physical health. Uh, I think it's helped you relax too. Okay. Overall, it is a good talk. <clears throat> the thing is, uh, equipment. I think swimming needs goggles, swimming cup, swimming trunks, or swimming suit. At least they are, they are the necessary things that you are supposed to wear when you go to the swimming pool. Okay. But, I, I don't agree with that. The rest are okay. I, All yes, right. Teacher. Whatever you have tried. 
it's good. Okay, I want to continue, everybody. This, according to the lesson, you have less practice for speaking, so that is fine. Um, as it is related to unit two, I let you do. I I let you make short presentation. All right. Uh, for homework. So Yeti. Delida, what what should I do for homework? Which homework did I give you? Are you let us to do number five? Yeah, and yeah, also the six, ten. seven, and yeah, ten. You I mean? Just put... <clears throat> yeah, we have what? to start from number five. Yeah, what book? Yeah. All right. I know what to do. All right, everybody, what book? Open what book? Page twelve. Number five, this one. I hope you did homework. Change active verbs to the passive form where possible in the passage below. You write the passage in the lines provided, blah, blah, blah. So the given test, everybody look at the given test. The subjects. The player, two or four players, the players, the player. What is this test about? Sinamu, you have already done this writing. So could you please tell me what is this test about? Briefly. About the game. Yeah, about a game. That is the main focus, right? Not about the players. The main focus is a thing, an animate thing. So whenever you write about an animate thing, are you going to write in passive or active? Then I'm you, I'm asking. What? In general, yeah, of course, in some sentences, if you want to talk about the players, you can use active. But 80%, you are talking about the game, in about the inanimate thing. So you are supposed to use passive, right? Yeah, there may be some exceptional cases. You should use active. <clears throat> That's why in the given paragraph the main focus is about the game not the players so you should change passive form let's start now that's who are the first sentence would you like to change passive Hmm? That's why you are very quiet. How about on Chambai? <clears throat> I said the first sentence. Hmm. Only the first sentence. Uh, two to four players play the game. The game How is it? played by two or two to four players. Yes, correct. It's played. Correct. And next one, Vanessa. Second sentence. How will you change? Uh, first seven cat are how do you pronounce it? D E A L D. Yeah, D E L D. Verb three is D E L D. Adult. Adult. Added to each player. Yes, correct. And this time, Kevin, continue. Only answer. The player to the left of the dealer. Starts the game. Uh, the game, the game that that the dealer. The game what? Ah, uh, the game started. The game is started. Passive verb in general verb to be plus verb three. Kevin, you should learn grammar. The game is started. What?
you have changed. Object is the game. Verb is started. How will you continue? You cannot omit the words. If uh, the not. player to the left of the player. Find the player. Because the subject is not the pronoun or the people or persons. So you need to put find. Find the player to the left of the dealer. Okay. Next one, Sinai go. They are highest cut is laid down by the player. It's laid down. Correct. Yeah. It's laid down. In this case, you are you you are given the so you could not use by. Just give it. It is understood. The highest, their highest card is laid down. Okay? It's fine. How about Delita? Next sentence. Uh, the highest card is placed and the pine of card is collected by the winner. Players in turn lay down a card follow, following suit. Oh, sorry. Um, a card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, um, a card is laid by the player in turn as a following suit. Why you put as as what? Yeah, Which one? a card is laid down by players in turn. You could put participant at the back following suit. Also, do I need to remove s right? Yeah, of course. You could okay. not put S. You could not put S. Because it is used as participle. You, you need to put comma. You need to okay. put comma. Peria, you are not here, right? Okay, how about Su Yi Tong? Okay, I'm here. Uh -huh. Sorry, sorry. Su Yi Tong is not here. Could you continue? Yeah, is that if they don't have a card in the same school or? Mm. Ah, wait, wait, not, mm -hmm. not that yet. The previous sentence, the player who plays it, that sentence. Uh, the player who places the highest card uh, win the round and the pile of cards are collected. Wait. The player who places the highest card, that is, that is subject, right? Wins is the verb. The round and collects the pile of cards. Collects is another verb. So the main thing is you. There are two sentences, Korean. Two sentences. You must be able to divide it. The player who plays the highest card wins the round. You need to change it passive. So by the way, which one is the verb in that sentence? Win. Win. So which one is object? The round. The round. So how will you change for this? The round is won by the player who places the highest card. Yes, yes correct. The round is won by the player who places the highest card and the second sentence which the one pile is... of cards are collected yeah. the pile of cards are or is because the, the main subject is pile uh, it's two nouns are joined with OFO so the main subject is pile in this case so it must be it's the pile of cards is collected. You don't need to put subject because it is understood, already finished. If you would like to put the same subject, you can put it at the back. Like the proper answer should be like, the round is one and the pile of cards is collected by the player who places the highest card. It is better. 
because the subject is the same. Any question for this sentence? Uh, Su Ming Gong. Uh, if, if a card in the same room, uh, the, if the, if a card in the same room, the, wait, I will have you. If they don't have a card in the same suit, in this case, which one is the verb? I don't have. Don't have, but if you change it into passive, it's not that nice. Uh, if they don't they have a card in the same suit, that they draw. don't play in that draw. So in this case, do we need to change it into passive? Is it that necessary? I think no. No. So just skip it. If you if you change it, you need to change some verbs because we're gonna uh change it and it doesn't make sense. It's not command, it means that standard is not command to to change passive. All right. So Sumi, could you please continue next? Mm -hmm. uh, In that sense, which used, one is a verb? A uh, replace. They are used cast. They are used cast are uh, replaced by. Uh, by used play. cast are replaced by players from the central part. Five. Correct. Correct. That is correct. Okay. The last part. Test reading. Uh, one that's clear is out. That one. Yes. I don't know how to change this. One the first player is out. Wait. In that sentence, uh, do you think <clears throat> can uh we can change passive that subordinate clause? No, no. So just leave it. One the first player is out. How about next one? They have no more cards. Can you change? Is it necessary? No. No. So after that, uh, you don't need to change. You can copy it. When the first player is out, because they have no more cards, comma. After that, you can write that way. So how about the main phrase? Touch is in. Uh, and they, uh, what is the main verb? Tell me. Uh, what the is main the main verb? It has called that. Uh, no, has collected is not the main one. What is subject? The player. The player. So which one is verb? Count. Yes. You are supposed to change this. So as it is the verb, which one is object? Each uh the number yeah. of the place. number of uh primes. The number of files. Okay. So you need to put it at the front. So how will you say it? the number of by uh, the number or spy are counted by the players? The number of files. What kind of files? It's not finished yet. Of uh, primes. Each player has collected. Mm. So uh, that, you you need to take the whole phrase. For the subject. So the number of files each player has collected. A verb is are counted by the players. 
if it is understood, you don't need to put, right? In this case, you can put because the player is given. So touch with him. Would you like to try again for the whole sentence? How are you change? One the uh, first player out. The number of bars are uh, each player. No, no. Oh. no the, the, the first subordinate clause cannot be changed. So you, you need to put it directly. See, when the first player is out. Uh, when the first player is out because they have no more cast, the player scouted. Uh, no. No. I said already, count is verb. Object is the whole phrase. The number of piles each player has collected. Uh, I need to change passive, right? The number of pi uh, each player. No, no, no. Passive, um, you could change passive for count, but you could not change for has collected. The number of piles each player has collected, it is still meaningful. It is called a phrase. After that is subject for the next sentence. So the number of files each player has collected. What kind of files each player has collected? That way. Are counted by the players. Can you say again for this one? Uh, the number of parents uh, each player has collectors are counted by the players. Hmm. Got it? <clears throat> Everybody, active passive is finished. Some sentences needn't to be changed into passive, right? If it, it is changed, uh, it's not that meaningful, um, it's not nice, right? The meaning can be changed, so I didn't change it. And it's not natural, too. Okay, number six. I think I let you do number six. Get words beginning with the prefix R E. That means the same as the following phrases. Amelia, carry on. Another word for carry on. It's just with R E. Can you think? That's who are. Carry on. Another word for carry on. It's just with R-E. Who wants to say? Everybody who uh, remember. How about remain? Huh? Remain. Remain and carry on. Oh, totally opposite. No. It must have so, the same meaning. Resume. Here, make a can. I'll jump by. Even on the computer, it is used. Remake. Remake. Redo. Redo is more common. Vanessa, think again. Vanessa, think again. And did you, can you say again? My connection is so bad. Yeah, see, see, think again. Kevin, how about think again? Then I will think again. Rethink. Rethink, you, you make it simple because of again you use re reconsider. We have a word. Reconsider. Okay, next number D. Delita. Make strong. Uh, reinforce. Reinforce. Okay, reinforce. How about Faria? 
Number E, make the way it was. Uh, repair. The way it was, you put it back, it means. Amelia, can you think? <clears throat> it starts with R E. Who wants to say? Replace. Replace. It is quite close. But restore. It's not the way. Yeah, the restore. Because it's not the way it was. So it must be restore. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number seven is interesting. Everybody, number seven is very useful for writing. You need to avoid repetition. The use of words shouldn't be repeated. Instead, you need to use synonyms in writing. If you repeat it, you won't get score for that word. Only for one time you will get. For next time, you won't get score for that. Instead, you need to use synonyms, okay? So this exercise teaches you to, to use synonyms. Here, touch with it, read the instruction. Replace the word. Uh, replace the words nice with a, a more specific, specific. Uh, specific uh, appropriate ad, uh, adjective in the, uh, in the templates where it is used in the passage. Hmm. Appropriate. So it means that it may be more than one. According to the paragraph, you are supposed to use the word which has the meaning, uh, which means good. All right? Repeatedly. But if you use good in many times, it is so it is not interesting. So we are supposed to use different words according to the situation. That's why, could you please start yesterday evening? I'm just going to go on reading. That's why it's so quiet. Uh, yesterday evening, I had a really nice time to celebrate my birthday. I went to a nice... Wait, 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 wait. I'm just going the first one, number one, what did you write? Uh, yesterday evening, I had a really, uh, wait. What kind of time for describing good time? Which word can you use? Amazing. Besides... Mm -hmm. Amazing. Amazing time, possible. Any other possible word for time? <clears throat> Enjoyable. 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 That is possible. Enjoyable, right? Mostly for time we use enjoyable. Correct is possible. It's wonderful. A really great time. A, a really enjoyable time. Okay. Vanessa, the second one for nice. Here we go. I want to uh, uh delicious. Delicious can be used for food. You are describing restaurant. You are translating from Yama to English directly. No, no. You are describing for restaurant. Now it has positive sense. Uh, what about exquisite? Oh, exquisite, exquisite restaurant. Exclusive, you mean exclusive? Mm, quite close, but exclusive is just for the rich people, right? You want to make? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, E X Q U I S I T E. Exquisite, yeah, I know, I know that word. Exquisite means good. 
That it means beautifully. It is small. It's your amazing. Amazing restaurant. Possible. Amazing is possible. It we said I'm quite confused for that. If we decide beautiful restaurant, really used for restaurant. Uh, the thing that you can put is like um a good restaurant, wonderful restaurant. Another one, Porsche. Yes, you can use posh. And did you what about fine? Ah, uh, no, no, no. We cannot use fun restaurant. It is fun. We 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 don't say that way. Posh means like good, luxurious. Restaurant, yeah, luxurious is okay, Kevin. Luxurious, it means for rich people. Only rich people could afford to, uh, to spend money in that restaurant. Posh restaurant, yeah. Very stylish, very nice, very beautiful. So that is posh. Mm. Uh, go on, Kevin. With my family and my best friend, who is very... You are describing for people. Who is very black? For your best friend. How uh, are you? Kind hearted. Always very kind hearted. Possible. Kind hearted, kind. They are possible. Correct. And we ordered. Kevin again. Uh, no, you? we ordered some delightful dishes. Yeah. How to spell? Uh, D E L I G H T F U L. The life who is happy. In this case, you cannot use that word for dishes. But the previous word that you use, like delicious, you can use here dishes, curries. So here, delicious can be used here. Tasty, delicious. Okay. Kevin, you have known a lot of words, but you must think the suitability. So for this case, you, you are supposed to use delicious dishes. All right. This time, Sinai, you go on reading. The atmosphere was pleasant as they were. Cool pictures in on the wall and lovely music was playing. The, the atmosphere was there are many words. Yeah, your your what your what is okay pleasant. Pleasant is okay. Music is still going on, so it must be um Pleasant, cozy, mm -hmm. and next one, nice pictures on the wall for number six. What did you put? Beautiful. Beautiful pictures, correct. Any other? Fabulous. Fabulous. Okay, let's continue. How about nice music? Uh, Sinai, what did you choose for nice music? Lovely. Lovely music was playing or playing, yeah. Soothing, lovely. Hmm. Go on. This time, Tashu is in. Go on reading. 
afterwards? Uh, afterwards, uh, we went to a place where uh, where there is a uh, uh, colorful ice creams, and then uh, we watched a uh, amazing springs when we got uh, home. I need to continue. Wait, yeah, yeah, read all. Oh, yeah. After looking at all of my uh, amazing uh, presents. Number eight, what are you going to put for ice cream? They serve blank ice cream. As you have already used delicious, you cannot use delicious again. Tasty. Tasty. Flavorful. Flavored. Flavored is okay. Flavored ice cream. But we really use it. Is that like chocolate ice cream? So you, if you want to describe, in this case, chocolate ice cream, vanilla ice cream, you should say that way. Tasty. Mm. How about flame? Wonderful. Wonderful flame. Anything else? Hot warmy. Mm. Warmy. And next one. Attractive. Interesting. There are many words. How about presents? Looking at all my adorable. Present. Adorable. We could use it, but adorable is for people mostly. For presents. Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Lovely is already used in music. All my blank presents. Any other word for nice? Amusing. Oh, amusing can, can be used for music, not for here. Amusing is just for music. Everybody think for the presence. Likeable. Likeable is mm, possible, but it's not that suitable. How about chummy? Chummy is for people. Favorite. How about attractive? Attractive can be attractive is finished. I think. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, attractive can be used here. Breathtaking. Breathtaking is just for picture. Breath. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, not for picture. View, view. Breathtaking view. What about slanted? Mm, that is okay. How to spell? Hello? Yes, yeah, spell. S-P-L-E-N-T-I-D. Yeah, S-P-L-E-N-D. Yeah, um, would it make sense if I use pleasing? Uh, can, can you say again? Uh, pleasing. P -L -E -S -I -N -G. Oh, pleasing is okay. Uh, teacher, what about satis satisfying? Hmm? Wait, 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 wait. I, I'm doing that. Wait, later I will. I would like to make it sure of what something. Mm. You can use splendid. Yeah. Splendid. Uh, magnificent. Yeah. One, one student said something. Could you please say? Satisfy. 
No, no, no. The sister part is just for feeling. How about feeling? Hmm? How to spell? Oh, I think you also Fabulous. So, I say, Laura, I can't hear you. Huh? Favorite. Oh, looking at all my favorite places. Possible. Possible. Uh, yeah, splendid is okay. So everybody here, there are many possible adjectives. Actually, there may be more than one. There may be more than one. If it is suitable, I will accept it. But some are not suitable. We just use for specific, uh, how should I say? Use for certain nouns, not for all. Just know that. When you check in thesaurus, there are many uh synonyms but some cannot be used for some certain nouns just know that is that all oh. like you have to check number 10 oh i skipped some they are quite easy number 10 Underline the words below the both nouns and also. Everybody, I didn't give you homework for nine, right? But I will do it now. I will do it now because it is useful. Um, Dereda, could you please read the instruction first? All right. Um, underline the words below that are both nouns and also another part of speech. Circle the words which are not nouns at all. Some nouns, they have uh, the same form for nouns and verbs, right? But for some nouns, they don't have noun form. For example, captive. <clears throat> Is it noun or verb? Oh, another part of speech. So it may be adjective as well. So captive. Only noun or other part of, part of speech. Do you understand what I mean? Underline the words. You have to underline the words. Below that are both nouns and another part of speech. Besides nouns, they may be adjective, they may be noun, uh, they may be verbs, some adverbs. You have to underline. For example, cut, cut tip. Check in dictionary first. Later we will discuss. For cup tip. Captive is now. In now, it means that a person who has been taken prisoner or an animal that has been confined, right? That is captive. So it is now, correct. How about, according to the uh, dictionary, it is also adjective. For adjective, it means imprisoned or confined. In prison or confined. So it is noun as well as adjective. Sorry. Do you agree? So underline the words below that are both nouns and also another part of speech. So besides noun, it is also adjective. Are you going to underline A? Are you going to underline yes or no? Yeah, besides now, it is also an adjective. Captive is an adjective. I going to underline. Yes. Yes, of course, you must underline. Because according to the instruction, it says underline the words below the, that are both nouns and also another part of speech. Do it.
While checking for Farrell's speech, could you please check the meaning of these words? If you encounter new words, please check the meaning too. You can be rich in vocabulary. Can I check?
Hello, can I check? I thought, I thought it would not take time. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's go to B. A, the first one, captive. It means captured, right? Or caught. To make it simple, caught. The second one, Emily, you're safe. Do I have to underline? Hmm? I think yes. Yes. Why? Safe. We general in general we know we know that it is adjective. Any other part of speech besides adjective? It is a noun. The, the box that you could put many and some. Valuable stuff. I think yes. So everybody safe is for now as well as adjective. So you need to underline. Tashi how about trouble? Do I need to underline? Hello. Um, because he's waiting with internet issue. Oh, okay, okay. And how about Faria? How about C? Uh, I think underline. Yes, why? Trouble can be. Uh, you are troubled and you are in trouble. They say like that, I think. It may be verb as well as now. Do you agree? Yes. How about deliberate? Kevin, deliberate. Do I need to underline? Uh, no. No? Yes. No. Uh, what is the meaning of deliberate class? I told you to check the meaning. If you don't know some words, you should check it. What is deliberate? On purpose? Intentional? Right? Intentional, it means patience. Vanessa, patience. Do I have to underline? Say quickly. Uh, yes. Patience, do I have to underline? Um, yes. No. No. No, no. Because it ends in C E, so it is now. Only now. So you cannot underline. How about tranquility? Uh tranquility cycle. No need to underline, you mean. So it has it is a noun. What is the meaning of tranquility? Uh tranquility. Didn't you check in dictionary? You should know tranquility. I check. I check. I, uh, uh, it's an adjective. Like an adverb. Tranquility is now. What is tranquility? Whenever you know that, you must make it simple so that you can remember the meaning. Tranquility is now. That is why you cannot, uh, how should I say, underline. It is only now. Tranquility means peacefulness. Peacefulness. That is tranquility. Okay. Uh, Sume, how about blazing? Do I need to underline? Yes or no? Come on. Hmm. No, 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 it is adjective only. What is the meaning of blazing? Blazing mm -hmm. is some with fire. Hot, 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 very hot. Blazing means very hot. It is adjective. So you cannot underline only one, one part of speech. How about Faria? Concern. Do I need to underline? Yes. Yes. 
It may be noun as well as verb. What is the meaning of concern? Uh, you are worried. Mm, oh, worried. interesting. Mm, so it is concern. How about danger? Very obvious. So I knew. Do I need to underline danger? No. No. It How is about... only now. Now, yes. Extinguish to litter. Is a buff. Verb. Yeah. What is yeah. the meaning of extinguish? Like blow out or like put out the fire. Extinguish the fire. So it extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. So it means put out. Okay. So whenever you encounter new words, you need to check and accumulate the new words so that you will be rich in vocabulary. Number 10, I give you homework. So you have to change it into now and sometimes you need to change the spelling. A, synonym you concentrate. Now, form. Concentration. How to spell? Come on, come on. C-O-N-C-N-T-R-A-T-I-O-N. Yes. So me, how about interfere? Interfere. How to spell? I-N-T-E-R-F-E-R-E-N-C. -E -E -E. Yes, correct. Acquaint. The letter acquaint. A A C Q U A I N T E N C E. Equation. Acquaintance. Acquaintance. Q Q. Acquaintance. Yeah. What is acquaintance? Like friends. But not very friendly. Yeah. You know each other, but you are not friendly. That is called yeah. acquaintance. Not friend. Okay, receive. How about Vanessa? Receive. How will you change it into now? Receive. Receive is possible. Mm -hmm. Reception. Receive. 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 I C I P T. Received. When you buy something, you will get a receipt. Okay, correct. Entertain. That's who I'll entertain. That's who I'll participate. Entertainment. Entertainment. Correct. Satisfy. I'll tell my satisfy. Uh, satisfaction. Uh, S Action. S, S A T I S F A C T I O N. Yes. N X G. Vanessa. Dispose. Vanessa, quickly, Kevin, dispose. Now, Paul. Uh, it's also dispose. Mm -hmm. and, and the other word. I'm sorry, it's teacher. Just already the words that end in I O N, A L, blah, 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 mm -hmm. for nouns. Dispose. How to spell? D I S P O S A L. Disposal. Disposal, correct. Disposition. Disposition is also correct. D I S P O S I D I O N. Touch with saying, how about familiar? Now, phone. Touch with saying, hello. Oh, touch with saying, sorry, sorry, I'm. Absent minded. Sinai so new. Next one, familiar. Familiarity. F A M I L I A R I D Y. Yes, correct. And this time, I'll tell my kind. Kindness. K I K I N D N E S. Yeah, it ends in E S S. N E S S, sorry. How about J Wise? I'll tell my wise. Uh, wiseness. Oh, you have generalized it. Wisdom. Wisdom. How to spell? Uh, w i s d o m. Mm, w i s d o m. We have that word. So they are nouns. Okay, everybody. I I will do eleven. Although we have a few minutes, and I so that I can give you task. 
Number 11, read the passage below about the invention of chess and then answer the questions. You need to read the test. And what I want you to do is you need to remove or omit the unnecessary phrases in the paragraph. Yeah, read the passage up below about the invention of chess and then answer the questions. Answer the questions, right? And wait, um, we will do like, put squares brackets around the information in the passage, which you think is not really necessary. So I will let you do A. I will let you do A. Yeah, we have already done this kind of task. So I think you can do it. It's not really necessary. It's not really necessary. Or repeat something said earlier. Just do that first. Read the test. is not really necessary not only you know dashes do you remember i will repeat some students might forget and uh, yesterday we discussed this the phrase between two dashes they are not important everybody between two dashes you can omit it do you remember? Aljamai, besides two dashes, what else? The other phrase? Uh, bracket. Yes, bracket, correct. Anything else? Two commas. Two commas, yes. You are right. They are not necessary. So you can omit them. One is summarized. Besides you know, sometimes the the informations are repeated. So in this case, you can omit it. You know, the, the writer is repeating, then it is not necessary in your point of view, then you can omit it. So just for this case, what I want you to do is, are you underlining the phrases, the unnecessary phrases? Underline. But for according to the instruction, you have to put um this bracket yeah it's up to you if you understand it it is okay it says square brackets but i don't want you to be confused so you can put square brackets or you can underline whatever it's up to you
So everybody, for the sake of time, you could not finish this task within one minute. So I will give you homework. Excuse me, listen, listen. I will give you another homework. So listen. Uh, what I want you to do is, you must try to understand this test and you need to remove the unnecessary information. Here, the, the instruction is here, A, right? After that, you can reorder the test and write the summary. Can you write the summary? You are, you are given the space here. Try to understand it and write the summary here. When you write, write the summary, you must be able to join the, join the sentences by using connectives so that, you know, your, your, your writing will be shorter. Then is you must write a short paragraph for this test summary. Right. To make it short, yeah, according to D, it says connectives and participles. You need to use participle phrases or connectives. Participle means ing and ed. Participle means like comma, ing phrase, and also ed phrase. For example, this kind of sentence. I'm reading a book. This is one sentence, right? It is, oh, it is written, oh, it was written. It was written, written by, It was written by Shakespeare, for example. Okay, so there are two sentences. I don't want two sentences. I want to join the sentences. I want to make it short, but I want to put all the information. So you can write, you can use the participle. In this case, it is ed participle. I'm reading a book written by, written by Shakespeare. So he are written, this is called ED participle. And that is, uh, you can copy it at the top so you can understand what is the meaning of participle. Actually, you have already learned it. Another participle, I want to. I saw the children they were playing in the garden the sentences are simple you need to combine these two sentences by using participles like I saw it I saw the children playing in the garden. So they were can be omitted. Everybody copy it. That is called ing adjective, uh, ing participle. Or you can, you can write like, I saw the children who were playing in the garden. But actually, this kind is not nice, but I will change it. It's not a good example. Just forget the second one. 
Susan is in the garden. You want to give more information? Playing with the children. That is better. The same subject. Susan is the gar Susan is in the garden. She is playing with the ch children. Two sentences. It is not nice. So you can combine the two ideas in this way. Susan is in the garden playing with the children. So it is better. This is ING participle. Copy this sentence. Erase the previous one. The previous one is not a good example. Okay, that is called participles. You can use the participles when you write the summary. Can you do it? Okay, so I will stop here. You can use participles, you can use cognitives, and finish this one. You need, everybody must write. There are two, two, but you need to write only one. I don't ask you to write two writings, only one. Please cover all. Do you know what to do? Okay. Otherwise, it is repeated. You, you don't want to do it. Okay. Just only one, one summary. Any question? Can I stop here? Okay, bye bye. See you. So bye, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye, teacher. Thank you, teacher.